All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, real quick, um, you know, I just, um, I actually saw, this, I saw the video, I saw a brother do a video on it, you know, just a, a little while back, you know, but it just came, it just came to mind again, you know, and, um, you know, as the brother was doing the video, which I'm going to explain in a minute. Uh, you can see in the thumbnail, okay. So uh, basically, it was a group of these guys. I don't, I didn't, I didn't really get to see what group they were in or whatever the case may be. All right, but they, 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 they were out there, you know, teaching, you know, as uh, so. I presume that they, they, <clears throat> they were Israelites. All right, but you can see the uh, the main speaker. All right, had had a gun on him. Okay. He had a gun in his in his uh you know you know the little gun thing so I'm I'm guessing wherever he is you know wherever that camp or that group was you know they they don't they don't have any like it's not like here you know so you can you can have your little your little gun on you or whatever the case may be all right whether it be for self defense or what it is but if you're if you're out there all right pushing the word and you believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai there should be no reason for you to be having a carnal weapon like a gun on you, okay? Absolutely no reason, okay? Because understanding that the Lord already told us that he was going to have us protected, okay? So how you're teaching out of the scriptures, all right? What happened to faith? What happened to, 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 to uh, having the Lord protect you? Because keep in mind, no matter what you have on you, if the Lord decided that you were going to die that day or somebody was going to come and do whatever... To, to you that day that was going to happen regardless okay and at the same token if you didn't have anything on you and the lord decided you were going to be good you're going to be good all right so this is second corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 for the what you know what i'll start at verse um verse um three for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh okay why because when we, when we, when being that, yeah, we're in the flesh, you know, we move, we move, we eat, we do all these different things. All right. But our, our power, okay. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That's what makes us different. That's what makes it stronger because it's not carnal, man. A gun is common. A carnal weapon is common. Anybody can pick that up and use it, but not everybody can pick up the scriptures or, or have the, the power of the spirit to use it the way the Lord has, has, has blessed us with it, you know? So, so in, in, in essence, you, what, what you believe that, that the, the word of the Lord can't save you, can't protect you enough that you got to carry a, 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 a gun with you, man, especially to teach the word of the Lord. You're going to take a gun to the altar of the Lord, man. What happened to making your body a living sacrifice? Okay. It says for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty, through the Most High to the to the pulling down of strongholds because right now we're not fighting a, a carnal a carnal uh, a, a war, we're fighting a spiritual war. Yes, it will it will turn carnal, but not not even carnal. It will turn physical, okay. But that's that's not right now. Right now we're fighting a spiritual war because the scriptures tell you in Ephesians uh, six, all right, that that uh, uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Okay. So if you're not wrestling against flesh and blood, why do you have a, a weapon of the flesh? Why do you have a carnal weapon with you? You know, what are you so afraid of? You see us, we've been going out there. Oh, you Look at the elders, man. When, for, for all those years, 30 plus years, 20 plus years, 25 plus years, when, when do you see them go out there with a gun? You know, for all those years, and they're still good. The Lord has, has his angels protecting them, man. And likewise for the sincere men who are pushing his truth. Okay. So really, really, what do you think the Lord is looking at you like? He's looking at you like you're lacking faith, man. Okay. So it says, casting, um, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of the Most High, and bringing into subjection every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. Because why do you think Esau hasn't been able to uh, roll on us like he wants to? Is because he can't. The the weapons we use, which is these scriptures. All right, let me get it real quick. Hebrews chapter four. All right, verse 12, it's 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 more dangerous and more powerful, yet it leaves no trace. You can't you can't come and come and just, you know, arrest us with the with the laws and regulations you already have in place. All right, for using the scriptures. Okay? 
So that's why they're putting new laws and new new legislations into place to try and get us for uh, get us for that. Okay. This is Hebrews four and twelve. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dis dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. D this word, all right, is more powerful than anything because this word doesn't jam. OK, this word doesn't doesn't, you know, have recoil. OK. All right. This word is, is you, you speak it, man. All right. So it, it's not you know, it's not like it's, it's it's really really what it is, is disappointing, you know, to call yourself a man of the Lord. All right. And you worried about that, man. So so what about let me see. Um. So like, let me see if I can find this precept real quick. This is in the book of Job. All right. Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Okay. But it says what? Where, uh, where have the righteous cut off? Uh, where, where were the righteous cut off? So if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're pleasing and serving the Lord. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you so scared, man? What, what What's there to worry about? Oh, oh, I got it. Just in case. Just in case of what? So what? That's your go-to. That's your backup. I thought. I thought we 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 put our trust in the Lord, man. Okay. Let me let me let me get another one. Uh. Proverbs eighteen and ten. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and it's safe. All right. The righteous runneth, runneth into it and it's safe. So are, do you not consider the name of the Lord to be that strong tower, man? Okay. To be a shield. Um. Let me get this last precept real quick. Uh huh. Mm. Slocky, give me one second. I know it's in the book of Psalms. Don't know if it's 34. Yeah, 34. Yep. This is Psalms. Chapter 34, verse 7. The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Okay? He delivereth them, man. You can't go up against Esau with Esau's weapons. Just like Esau can't come up against us with spirituality. Because he will get torn up, ripped up, t t d d annihilated. Okay? But you try to go against Esau with a carnal weapon, he'll tear your ass up seven different ways, man. And then piece it back together and, and then blow you to smithereens. Okay? Edomites are naturally... You, you see them with, 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 with weapons, man. They, they, bruh, listen, man. That's just them. Okay? Just like when you see us with the spirit, you understand. Okay? So stick to stick to your strong suit, man. Okay? Have faith and trust in your how about Shem Yal Shai. Because if you're showing things like that now, man, then you're not going to make it in, in, in the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, because that means you still have a carnal mindset, and the scriptures tell you, okay. Uh, all right, I get. I ended out with this um, carnal mind. All right, Romans chapter eight, verse six: For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because you're not worried about anything, man. Okay. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, and neither indeed can it be. Okay? So the carnal mind, all right, is en uh, uh, enmity with the Most High, man. It, it's, 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 it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't flow together, man. Because the Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay? Not in, not in carnality and lies, man. OK, so listen, man, we keep saying this, but the Lord is about to do a major sweep. OK, 
And a lot of people are not going to make the cut, man. Because people are playing games and playing around. All right? Instead of you to be getting serious and staying focused, you're playing games and you're playing around, man. You're not paying attention. You're not being serious. And, and you're just joking around. Okay? And the most high... the mo Look, man. Just because the Lord hasn't done anything, all right, to signal you, because it's your job to, to, to examine yourself daily, whether you be in the faith or not, and you're not doing that, okay? You 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 starting to get carnal. What the hell is bringing a gun to camp? All right? But just because the Most High hasn't signaled you that, yo, my man, you need to get your, your, your thing together. Listen, not everybody gets that, that, that second chance. Not everybody gets a warning from the Most High. You might just get... Like that, man. Just gone. Or the Lord might just wait till when you need it most, and then he'll let you know, Yo, nah, I ain't messing with you, man. Okay? Because instead of you checking yourself, because I didn't I didn't signal you, you just you just you just, you know what I mean, just acted like everything was all good. And slowly but surely you wax worse and worse, man. Okay? You have to catch yourself, man, because the scriptures say, seek ye out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. And when you're in fear, guess what? You're alert. You listen to everything. All right. You're looking all around you. Why? Because you're scared. OK, you're in fear. That means you're alert, man. All right. Not the kind of fear that makes you dumb. No, the kind of fear that puts you on your